1938, during a routine excavation at Kujut Rabu, a mound near Baghdad, archaeologist Wilhelm Koenig uncovered a small clay jar sealed with asphalt. Inside it lay a copper cylinder wrapped around an iron rod, both corroded yet unmistakably deliberate in their design. It looked like a vessel, but something about it resisted that explanation. When Koenig examined the residue within, he found traces of an acidic compound, vinegar or grape juice, that could act as an electrolyte. Intrigued, researchers later built replicas. When filled with acid and connected by wires, these ancient jars generated electricity, tiny but measurable around one to two volts. The discovery stunned historians. Electricity was thought to have been mastered only in the modern industrial age, yet these jars dated to the Parthian period, nearly 2,000 years earlier. At least a dozen similar artifacts have since been found across Iraq, each crafted in the same proportions. No contemporary writings describe their use, no diagrams explain their design, and yet their functionality is undeniable. They were not myth, they were real. Objects of copper, iron, and clay that worked as primitive galvanic cells. Some scientists believe they were used to electroplate gold and silver onto decorative items, a technique that would explain certain inexplicably uniform coatings found on ancient artifacts. Others propose a more ritual purpose, jars that produced mild shocks to imitate divine power during temple ceremonies. Whatever their function, they reveal an understanding of chemical energy far ahead of recorded history. The Iraq Museum safeguarded the surviving examples until the 2003 invasion, when many were looted or destroyed, taking their context with them. What remains are photographs, lab notes, and one enduring question. If ancient artisans truly harnessed electricity, then invention may not always be discovery, but rediscovery. Perhaps the spark that lit our modern world was first struck long before we learned to name it. Hi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, or subscribe to get notified when a new video drops. It's also the best way to support our channel.